welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a bit different. It is called The Power of Makeup. I saw this video on um, Becca Rose's channel. I'm sure you're all subscribed to it. If you're not, I will link her down below. I just really like the idea of it. Basically, you do half of your face, like with makeup. Um, and it's just kind of like because the media and everything kind of portrays that you have to wear makeup, you're weird if you don't wear makeup, like people don't like their natural face, they prefer to cover up with their makeup. The idea is kind of we change our face to how we want it to look with, with the makeup, like we contour to make our cheekbones look smaller, we've got mascara to make our eyes look bigger, like concealer and foundation to make our skin look better and we all hide behind it. I'm confident with makeup and I'm confident without makeup but I did go through a stage in my life, as I'm sure a lot of girls do, where I wouldn't leave the house without makeup on like I would get up and no matter what I was doing even if I was literally going around the corner I would cover my face in makeup and I wouldn't go out without it I don't really know why that started like it's not like I've never had really bad skin problems so I've never really had to felt like I needed to hide anything just how things are kind of portrayed to girls is that you're kind of you're strange if you don't wear makeup and if you don't if you go out without makeup you don't make the effort and things like that whereas now I will quite happily leave the house without makeup on I don't really have any problems with it like I don't really care like I love playing with the makeup but I can easily get up shove my hair on a top knot and do nothing and just leave the house. So now makeup for me is more of a fun thing like I just really 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 enjoy playing around with makeup and doing my makeup so that's part of the reason why I kind of wear it now it's not so much for me to cover up and improve my face as such it's more because I just really really enjoy it this video is kind of to show the power that makeup has and how much it can change someone's face so yeah like I said at the beginning I am going to do half of my face with my full makeup and I'm going to do like full makeup not like lazy day makeup which is what I normally do and then leave the other side completely plain and you can see how much my face changes how much it doesn't change I don't know what changes the most that sort of thing just to show that you're beautiful with makeup and you're beautiful without makeup I have got a primer this is the benefit professional I love this primer two pieces it makes the makeup last so much longer I think I'm gonna do this side of my face this side of my face this side of my face I don't take very much don't really need to oh wow I was just literally just about to do that <laughs> Okay, so look, just one side of my face. Then I have got my foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever. I mean, it's not massively heavy coverage, but you can build it so you can really make it cover if you want to or if you need to. Whereas I just really like, it's got a perfect color match for me and I just love the consistency of it. So I'm gonna use that. If I can get some out there. Okay, that went really, really wrong. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I have foundation literally all over my bed. But anyway, as we were, yeah, half my face <laughs> with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Half my foundation done. This feels really strange. Do you know what? I hope I can match the other side of my face properly when I go and do the other side. In with concealer, this is pretty much empty like there's nothing in it I'm getting like the last drags but it, this is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer again absolutely love the con this concealer it's the only one I've found that is the right colour match for me okay we're now zoomed in so you can see the face a little bit better so I've just done my concealer and then I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows I'm going to use the colour Frisk from the Urban Decay it's their basics palette but the second one number two now there's someone at my door I'm trying to record a video First, I'm going to comb through with the L'Oreal uh, Brow Artist Plumper. It's just a brow gel. But I like to put the gel on first before I do the colour, just because then it sets them in place a bit better. And I find the colour of the brow powder kind of sticks a lot better. Okay, there you go. I don't do anything special with my eyebrows. I just like to fill them in a little bit. Um, I don't change the shape too much or anything like that. I did try once to do quite dramatic eyebrows and it just didn't look good. So we don't do that anymore. No, no, no. Next, I'm going to go in and do my eyeshadow on one eye. Stick with the same palette again. All over colour is Stark, which is just like quite a neutral, paley pink. I don't really wear a lot of makeup anyway, really. It's quite, I usually wear quite natural makeup, but even when I'm going out, I never really go like over the top, bold, like big 
smoky eyes or anything. I just don't think it really suits me. But I just like to play around with like the nudes and the pink colours. And I'm a massive fan of like gold eyeshadows and things like that. So that's usually what I play around with. I then go in with Frisk, which is the same colour that I use on my eyebrows, just to do the crease. To add a bit more definition into your eye. I absolutely love these palettes. I've got the normal basics palette and I've got number two, obviously. Um, and I just love them, like the colours are so perfect for me. Like I said, I never really use like bold colours. Um, so there's no point me really buying the um, other naked palettes, like the bigger ones, because I probably won't use half the colours. So it's a bit of a waste of money, whereas I use all of the colours from this palette. So And then I just like to take frisk under the eye. I'm just going to blend and like soften the line a bit from the top, just like that. And then I'm taking skimp just under my brow, just to brighten the bow, bow, <laughs> brow, uh, a bit more. I'm going to go in with my powder, I'm using the Arbonne Setting Pretty Translucent Loose Powder. Um, I love this powder, it's not a matte powder which is very strange for me, there is definitely a shimmer in it, I don't know if you're not going to be able to see, there is a really light shimmer in it, but it sets my makeup beautifully and I love it. Also it smells really good, I don't even know what it smells of, but it smells very good. Just gonna brush that all over one side of my face. On to bronzer to contour. So I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals, it's their duo, bronzer and illuminizer. One, you will have all seen this, I've mentioned this so many times in my videos. There's a mirror in this one, so I don't need another mirror. Okay, and I literally, I don't use a lot of it. I mean, it would be weird if I used a lot. I have pale skin, so let's not go too over the top, but I just like to use it on my cheekbone. Okay, on to blusher. I've got a cream blusher today. It is the um, Mlay Maybelline, I can't, cannot talk today, the Maybelline Dream Touch Blush. And it is in the colour, oh, I think the colour is called Blush, number two. I don't have much left. I really like it. Just gently take it over the cheek. I really like cream blushes. I just think they're much more natural. I was definitely about to dip my blusher brush in my palette just then. And then I like to just go over it with my powder brush again, just to kind of soften it. I'm going to go straight into mascara. The one that I'm using today is an Arbonne mascara, and it is called It's a Long Story. I really like this mascara. Again, it smells really good. And the brush is huge. Look. I'm just going to try and get rid of that lump of mascara that is on my eyelids, bear with me. And then last, I'm going to go in with lipstick. So I'm using Ruby Woo today from MAC, which is your classic red. Absolutely love this. My favourite lipstick of all time. And the lip liner I'm using is from Kiko. And um, it doesn't have a colour, but it's number 306. There we are. Let me know what you think looks most different. I honestly think the biggest change for me with makeup on is definitely my eyes. Um, they just look bigger, I think. The mascara kind of opens them up a bit more. Um, but yes, I'm now going to go do this side of my face because I need to go out. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!